Hello everyone and welcome to this video. As uh, you guys can see, this is a Five Nights at Pingas in YouTube. Eh, uh, what am I even saying? A uh, Five Nights at Pingas in Game Maker tutorial that I publish on YouTube. And uh, what we're going to be making in this uh, episode is the vents. So uh, as you can see, I have loaded uh, two sprites and uh, one of them is the vent sprite. And uh, this sprite simply contains um, all the images of the vent. So uh, this is obviously when the vent is uh, shut off or when you know there's no light. So it's just completely black. And this is when the light is turned on but there is no uh, enemy. That's going to be image 1. Image 2 is going to be when there is uh, the blue enemy. In our case, uh, in your game it's probably going to be some other enemy, maybe a cow or something. You really decide that. Um, and then image 3, we have a red stick man in our case and you probably have something else. In image 4 we have the yellow and in image 5 we have the green. So uh, if you remember this is just like in the door light where we had it installed in the same way. Yeah. So um, we've all also imported or you have, have made it because you can't really import it because they haven't given you any to download these sprites. Uh, a laser gate sprite. And uh, this sprite simply contains whatever you're going to be using to close off the wind. And uh, in my case I just use this laser sprite because it's pretty easy to make. You could also like use a wind door closing or something, it doesn't really matter, it just helps to go from being completely open to being closed. And uh, mine is 6 images, so uh, yeah, I'm going to use that later in the tutorial. And um, what's special about this uh, event is that we're going to make it so um, just like in 5 nights at uh, Flumpty's 2, or 1 night at Flumpty's 2, sorry, uh, and 5 nights at uh, Pinga's 4, whenever you click the button next to the event, it's pretty much going to flip so you can uh, never have both both vents closed at once. You always have to have one of them open. So um, yeah, let's get started. And uh, let's get started by making the button, I guess. And um, the light button we're just going to make. So we can call this, um, yeah, as you saw, I just copied button two and that was probably a bad idea. I should just copy light button one. So um, let's just call this OBJ underscore light event button one. And under the create event, this is all fine. We still have to set the state to zero and the image speed to zero. And under the step, image index equals state. And um, here we are going to change some stuff. Because first of all, we have to change this line here later. But we have to do something else too. We have to make another object. And we're going to call that over here. It's called light vent button. Two, because as you remember, there are going to be two different vents, and uh, this we just for now going to keep it the same way. But we can change something under light vent button one. So uh, this is under light vent button one's left press event, and uh, when you click it, it's not just going to uh, set its own state to one. It's also going to say with. Okay, we just have to like make this a bit bigger because currently it's too small to write mo multiple statements so we're just going to change this a bit by just doing like this it's still going to set its state to zero but it's also going to say with obj one got light wind button two state equals zero and this pretty much just sets light wind button two state to zero whenever this state is set to one and we're going to do the opposite thing down here, where we're just going to set it set to 1 when it's set to 0. And we're just going to change this line here later. So now we can copy all of this code right here and put it under here. Or yeah, just like this. And um, what we're going to just quickly change, of course, is. Yeah, now my dog is barking. Hooray. Okay, just have to go and stop it, but. Yeah, I'll be right back. And uh, if it's still recording, yes it is. I am back and my dog stopped barking, so um, great. And uh, as you saw, I simply just changed the number 2 to 1. Because uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything we have to change in here. And now we can create... 
um, OBJ. We can actually just copy this one, I think, and then call it OBJ underscore wind. Uh, oh, wait a second. No, we can. I'm just being confusing right now. I'm sorry, guys. Um, because we're going to start by making the laser gate, not the actual light or whatever. So we're going to press the create new object and call it OBJ laser gate 1. And we're going to give it the laser sprite. And under the create event, we're going to set its image index to zero. And then we are just quickly going to go under its step event. And um, this is going to be a lot like a door. So what we're going to be saying is if OBJ, uh, oh, wait a second, I'm sorry. We just have to make a state variable up here. Oh, and this is an index, it's of course speed. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm not singing that much right now. Really, I should probably prepare this tutorial a bit more. But whatever, state equals zero, and under the state event, it's simply going to say if obj underscore light vent button one, that state is not, and uh, this means is not equals to a uh, state. Then it's just simply going to set its state equals to obj underscore light event button one that state. And now my dog is barking, and I am back once again. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm just simply synchronizing the state variable on the wind button to the state variable of the laser gate. So um, yeah, now we can go down here and write if state is equals to. Uh, zero then it's going to be open so if this is the case then it's going to test if image index is higher than zero then image index minus minus and this is of course going to completely uh, set the in image index down back to zero because it's constantly going to be removing one from the image index variable. So uh, we just gonna copy that and say if it's less than six, because as you saw before, there were six images in the sprite, then it's going to set the image index plus plus. Uh, and wait a second, no. <laughs> and this is of course going to be under if the state is equals to one. So we can just quickly do it like this. There we go. So uh, now, this thing is of course going to um, animate correctly. And uh, then we can duplicate this thing and make an OBJ laser gate 2. And uh, this thing is going to be pretty much the same, but we can just change this to 2. So now it should work too, because, yeah, and I just clicked that link by accident. <sighs> In the next floor, you're just so amazing. Okay. Um, and now we have made the two laser gates and the buttons. So really, we do not need anything right here under the pin buttons. We, we can just remove that line because it is synchronizes right under the laser gate object. Okay. So now let's add the object to the room on the night one. And um, so uh, the laser gate. I guess we can set it around here and this laser gate one and this oh wait a second yeah I chose the wrong one and then we can set this one here and then put light wind button one here and light wind button two around here so let's try it out And uh, I'm sorry this uh, tutorial series isn't com coming out that much. It's just that I've recorded a whole lot of different videos and I really want all of them out before recording more videos. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's why. Yeah, and as you can see, now it works pretty well. And uh, when this is on, then this is off. And when this is on, then this is off. And it pretty much works perfectly, as you can see. Yeah. But now we also have to make the light so that you can turn on the light in the doors. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to create 
and obj underscore bint write one and this thing is going to have the bint sprite and we can just really keep all of these things right here so uh, yeah and we can change these things to a uh, vent uh, one i'm just going to call it vent one just because it really isn't in the front or in the back it's in the side so vent one and uh, as you remember we have set the sprite uh, indexes to the same things so we really do not have to change anything that's What's so great about Game Maker? You can just copy and paste, <laughs> and then it pretty much works, as long as you do it in the same way, of course. So um, now we have this thing, and then we can copy it and make obj underscore vent light two, and uh, I'm just going to take a look. Yes, uh, of course you have to change this, but other than that, than that we don't have to change anything because uh, we are going to make the buttons now and uh, we're just going to copy obj underscore light button one and call it obj underscore wind light button one and um, it's just yeah it's pretty much the same code once again because <laughs> these later parts are really just copying and pasting stuff <laughs> and uh, now we're just going to change this for door light to instead wind light of course that's really everything you have to change and now we can copy and paste this button again and uh, in here we're just going to set it to 2 again so um, now that should already work so that was pretty quick right <laughs> and, and now we can just take the wind light one and put it right around you know, I should just set this down to one by one so that I can place it exactly the right place. Even though I shouldn't focus too much on that, on that because, well, you could do that yourself pretty easily. So I don't have to show you how to do it. Um, I think this is it. And then we take the wind light button one and place it over by the, oh, I'm sorry, I just zoomed out, <laughs> right here, yeah, or something. <laughs> like, that doesn't really have to be exact, you can adjust that yourself and just try to figure out where it should be. There we go, I think that this is it, or maybe I placed the wrong object, uh, let's just take a look. Maybe I placed the wrong object, I'm not sure. Okay, this works. Um, then let's take a look at this one. Okay, I placed the wrong object, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, I placed the door object by accident. Uh, for some reason I knew that. <laughs> I guess I saw the name right before I hit the play button. Um, Wind button 2. There we go. And now we can just also quickly, just to test it, set uh, the green animatronic uh, to be in Wind 1. So now there should be a green stickman in Wind number 1. Um, so we, yeah, well that's the yellow one. Uh, that's just a glitch, I guess, because it's of course supposed to be the green one. Oh, okay. I think I did a mistake right here because it's a. Oh, I said, yeah, I've just <laughs> messed up. I said wind the uh, wind light one over here. I should of course place wind light two over here. That makes sense. There we go. So now, yes, that makes sense. And let's just quickly take a look if, yeah, that, that's a glitch. We can just quickly go and fix that because, as you can see, it's just the green and the yellow ones that has they've probably been mixed up. So we are going to go under here and just simply like this, so that the yellow one is last and the. We should probably do it with the doors too, because I assume that they are glitched too then. So there we go. Now that is fixed. That's just because I had to redraw the sprites and then I probably drew it wrong, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, now the green man is here and we can open and close. The red guy is here. No one is here. It works perfectly now. 
So that's pretty cool, right? I mean, it works pretty fine. So uh, yeah, I think yeah, I'm just going to take a look. Yeah, that is it for this video. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you in the next video where we are probably going to make start making the camera system because now we've waited with that for a pretty long while. So um, see you in the next part, guys, and uh, bye.